Hello, my name is Brad Offit. I am a yoga teacher in Marble Falls, Texas. I am a Thai yoga massage therapist. And mostly what I deal with and what I love to, love to see or love to treat or love to help with is pain. A lot of people have been treated with pain for pain for uh, many different modalities. And there are a lot of great modalities out there. And I don't think that, that any of them are necessarily better than the other. I think sometimes certain modalities help certain types of pain more than others. <clears throat> At least that's been my experience. Anyway, today what I'm going to give you is a few compression techniques that you can do on your own in your own house. And then really what you're going to need is a, is a foam roller and maybe a, a blanket or a yoga mat. Uh, what I'm going to start with is that I'm going to start with a few foam rolling things. And then what I'm going to give you is a few yoga stretches or you know, if you don't do yoga, you can just call them stretches and uh, uh, try to connecting the breath with that. So here we go. First of all, taking your foam roller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foam roller and I'm going to place it about my mid back, right about where my ribs hit. Not below my ribs, on the low lumbar, but more on the thoracic. Right, so we're up, up against the ribs. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to lift my hips up. I'm going to start to walk my feet forward. I'm going to start to reach my arms back, roll all the way up to the base of my skull, roll over my shoulders, and I'm going to roll back. I'm going to do just a little bit of a sit up, squeeze here, and I'm just at my thoracic spine, so I'm at, at my low ribs, not below that on the, on the spine itself, and then just rolling back up, back and forth, stretch, reach, even here you can press into your feet, lift your hips up, look back, and then just start to walk back, walking the foam roller back, and then walk it forward, and back. And if you feel a little bit more pain on one, to the other, one side of your upper back or mid back more than the other, you can kind of lean on that one side and kind of find the place that you feel a lot of feedback. Pause on it. Breathe on it. Take 30 seconds, 20 seconds, a minute, and that will start to help your pain dissipate. Very, very effective. So just a few more rolls back and forth when you get to, the, when you get to your head. Maybe pressing and lifting the hips, spreading your fingers, lifting all ten of your toes, just really activate your body. And then walk back. And then sit. Sit up. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna be doing here this time is taking the foam roller right up against my low back. I'm gonna take my back down and then I'm gonna barely lean on one side. I'm gonna take my arm behind me, lift my hips, and just take some barely little rolls. I'll show you that direction and I'll show you this direction as well. But I'm just sitting in right up against my low back, leaning a little bit to one side, lifting my hips, and I'm just moving ever so slightly. I'm not crushing that floating rib, I'm, and I'm not hitting my pelvis, just above the pelvis and just between the ribs. It's where a lot of people have low back issues. So I'm on the right side first. Just a few nice little rolls. And again, if you have any real pain here, pause on it. Take a really big breath in. And a full big, full big breath out. Just let your hips down, switch sides. Right, so I'm going to lean over on my left side, lift my right side, same thing, just a little bit back and forth, back and forth. Pause. Really, time is the healer here, like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going in this video. You can take a little bit more time, especially if you find uh, wearing your back that this really is giving you a lot of feedback I call it a lot of sensation or you can just simply breathe if all this is too much for you you can place a blanket over your foam roller make it a little softer and start there okay so we've rolled out the low back I'm gonna sit on it I'm sitting on the foam roller I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna bend my knees option one is take both of my knees over to the left lift my right glute roll out the side of my left hip, right? If you've got flexibility, take your left foot over your right thigh, lift your right hip, roll it out. So I'm just lean, lifting my right hip, my left leg is on top of my right knee, and I'm on my left glute. I'm just rolling it out, my right hand is behind me. I call these foam rollers, it's kind of like a horse or a bicycle, you, you can kind of buck you off and kind of be a little bit difficult to 
get on at first, and it can definitely give you a lot of sensation at first, but uh, it will really, really help your, if you're feeling, experiencing pain. So again, <clears throat> here on your left side, finding that place that you have a lot of feedback and just pause on it. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Just let yourself sit, sink, and relax. And just give it another few rolls. Release, switch sides. So I'm gonna take my right foot over my left thigh. If you don't have that flexibility, if, it's like, if you find yourself not able to put your foot up here, just keep both feet down. down. And lean over on your right side. Taking your right foot on top of your left thigh, leaning onto your right glute, my left one's lifted. I'm just gonna roll out. It's called the piriformis, or um, it would be sin four in Thai massage. We're rolling out some good stuff. I believe we keep so many of our past angers, past issues, and injuries, all kinds of things in our hips. So there's a lot of good hidden material in here a lot of times that uh, can really be worked out by some simple compression. That's what we're doing here, it's a little compression. Find that good spot, that place that gives you a lot of feedback, or at least a little. Pause on it, soften your shoulders, soften your eyes, take a big full breath in. And a big full ha. Uh, just breathe into it. Okay, now we've now rolled out our hips. So I'm gonna roll onto, I'm gonna come onto all fours, my hands and knees. I'm gonna place the foam roller right at the fronts of my knees. I'm gonna take it right up, up, up mid thigh and I'm gonna roll toward the very tops of my kneecaps. Back and forth, just below my pelvis. To the knees, getting the tops of the thighs. So this is one of those things, if you have <clears throat> any knee issues, if you have knee pain, especially if you have knee pain, going down steps, walking down hills, this will really help over a few weeks. So again, you engage your core. Squeeze the belly and then just roll out your thighs. Maybe you turn your toes out, maybe you turn your toes a little bit in. And if this isn't enough, you can lift one leg and roll out one of the thighs. It'll intensify it quite a bit. And then just switch if you've gotten to one. Just taking your time. If you fall off, just get back up. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna roll, up, roll out the hip creases. I'm gonna raise my right hip crease and I'm right into my left hip crease. I'm just gonna roll it out. Right into where my thigh meets my hip, where my knee bend, or my hip, my leg bend. Give that a little love. And again, if you find any, kind of roll a little to the side, a little to the midline, side, just kind of find any tight spot. For me, when I first started doing this, this is, was a really issue, a really big place of core issue for me. I had a lot of tight, it felt like I had an orange right in my hip crease, basically, or just below it. And this will really help work that knot out. Okay, switch sides. So I'm gonna move over to my right hip crease, roll it out. A little bitty rock right in the hip crease. Breathing in and out through your nose. So mindful breathing. A little to the side, a little to the midline. Just find your spot. And if you find something that really gives you a lot of discomfort, again, pause on it. Take a big breath. Move a few breaths in and out. It will help. <clears throat> okay, trust the process. Now we're gonna, two options here. We're gonna roll out the side of the leg. It's called the IT line. Option one, if you haven't ever done this before and you've got tight ITs, put your whole thigh on your block or on your uh, foam roller. I'm just gonna roll that out. Doesn't take a lot of movement because my whole thigh is on that. If you're like, now, nah, if you've been doing some rolling before, you can roll out your whole Five, whole IT, side of the leg. All right, I got my front foot, my top foot in front of my leg. 
I'm using my hands, I'm using my little bit of my core. And I'm just rolling out the side of my leg. And if this is way too intense, again, put your whole thigh on there. That would look like more like this. Switch sides. So I'm gonna take my right side on there. Roll it out. Just back and forth. Option to lift both legs or option to take a little weight off and put it in front of the other. However you need to do it. Doesn't take a whole lot, but you get a little bit goes a long ways on the IT. Okay, release that. Do the hamstrings here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit. I like to have two blocks. If you don't have blocks at your house, you can order them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. They're yoga blocks. You can get books, whatever works. So I can lift my booty and then I'm gonna just slide my booty forward right to the creases of my hips and slide back. I can lift up if I want a little bit of core work. And back. Lift up, flex my toes. And back. Just back and forth. I can do one leg at a time here. It'll intensify it a little bit. You choose, but really lifting the hips if you want a little core work. Switch legs if you've done one. Back and forth. Okay. All right. <clears throat> And then I'm going to give you an exercise for your feet. Our feet really are the, uh, the foundation for every single thing that we do. And then without healthy feet, it's hard to walk around this planet. My dog's growling in the background. I enjoy that. <laughs> He's a big guard dog. Okay, so I'm going to turn my back to you. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to place my foot down. I'm going to put my foot, I'm going to put my foot right over the top. the top and then I'm just going to sit myself back. So I'm compressing my top foot onto my bottom foot. Just hold that for about 30 seconds while my dog scares off the neighbor's cat. It's actually not my dog, it's my in-law's dog that's just visiting. Okay. Switch. Other foot on top, right through the middle of the bottom foot, and I just sit my hips back. It's a great place. You can put yoga blocks right beside you if this is too much. You can lean a little forward like this and start to sit up. Okay. Very good. Now, that's all for the foam rolling. I am going to also take you through my favorite five yoga poses that I do daily, pretty much daily, I mean, not every day, but almost daily, uh, that I believe will really help keep your back, your thighs, your whole little body, your whole body functional.